Right, this is the first unpacking video that I've done for uh, quite some time actually. Um, even though I've had various things that have been delivered and new stuff I've bought, I've, I just haven't been asked to be honest to do an unpacking video. But this one I certainly will do a unpacking video for. Um, it's for a second release I suppose of a recent release of an Xbox 360 shoot 'em up and that one is Dodo Apache uh, Die for Katsu Black Label. Now the original version, uh, Dodo Apache Die for Katsu uh, version 1.5 came out, ooh, I can't remember now, December, November, December, I can't remember, December I think. Um, uh, not that long ago and shortly after they announced the release of it sorry shortly after it was released they announced they were going to release a black label version um, now there's been a bit of uh, a discussion about this on the forums because not only have they done that they've also decided to have a downloadable content version of, of the black label edition and it gets a bit complicated here. Basically, if you've got the uh, the original retail version of Dodo Apache Don Fukatsu, you can, um, uh, by hook or by crook, you can download the black label version from uh, Japanese um, uh, Microsoft uh, Online uh, facility. <coughs> now, I was actually going to get that version I thought I'm not going to spend another 45, 46 quid basically on a different version of the original retail version that I've already got which is 1.5 and I've already done a video on that you can see that um, I thought I'm not going to spend that kind of money on something it's just a waste of time when I can download it and I've got to be honest I didn't do a fat lot of research on it and, and I left it and left it because I wasn't going to buy the the uh, the retail version of Black Label, um, and actually this week I went on to Play Asia and I uh, digitally ordered, or so I believed, some Japanese uh, Xbox 360 points. Because basically, to get the download content or the download upgrade for the original, you've got to buy it from a Japanese store and you've got to use Japanese points. So you have got to buy those Japanese points. So I went on to Play Asia, first time I ever used Play Asia, and it said it, uh, that it was a digital version of it. I thought, great, I can pay me cash online and I'll get the code straight away. I can bang the code into my Xbox and I can download it when it becomes available. Um, so I put that order through on, uh, on Wednesday, I think on Wednesday, because the downloadable upgrade had just been released, I think, on Wednesday. It was released on Wednesday, so I thought, oh great, and it was, and it worked out to be um, something like, uh, based on the points that I bought, it was, I suppose it worked out to be about 13 quid or something for the Black Label version, I thought, great, so I've got the retail version for 13 quid, I'll get another version, you know, we're all laughing, quids in sort of thing, so I placed the order through PlayAsia, assuming that I was going to get the uh, the redemption code straight away via email and a couple of hours passed I didn't get anything through from them and then the following day on Thursday I still didn't get anything through and a Friday morning I still didn't get anything through and I thought what's going on here so I went on to, online and looked at the account and it had been you know they'd received payment and all that lot and I was thinking oh, flaming out you know, this is going all um, uh, all peak tongue. This is. In the meantime, I've done a bit more reading up on the forums, and apparently the uh, the downloadable version of Black Label literally just gives you that. It just gives you the Black Label version, so it'll work with uh, the original retail version. But all you get is that. The actual retail version, so the disc version of Black Label, comes with some added features that you don't get with the downloadable content. And to be fair, it it was the real reason, the added features were the real reason why I wanted the second version. Um, uh, there's a funky feature on it called, 
Well, I don't know what it's officially called, but everyone on the forums on the internet is calling it Ketsu Patchy Arrange Mode. And basically, what it is is that if you've played Ketsui before, uh, the way you play that as regards to the mechanics of the scoring, they've basically taken that and they uh, put it into Dodon Patchy. And it looks really cool, it really does. I haven't played it obviously yet, no one had played it because it was a sort of butchered version of a sort of cross between Ketsui or using Ket Ketsui scoring mechanic in within uh, Dodon Patchy uh, Die for Katsu. And there's some other features as well. So um, I basically woke up Friday morning and thought, oh, I sod this. You know, I've spent the 15 quid on the on the on the Microsoft Xbox points. Uh, they haven't delivered the uh, Play Asia, haven't. So I'm straight to Play Asia site. I um, I cancelled that order because uh, they basically messed me around. You know, as I said, if it's a if it's a digital version, you expect it to get it straight away. You know, in this day and age, you know, you thought it'd be all electronic, but I don't know what was going on there. So I cancelled that, um, and I contacted. Uh, one of the imports that I use in the UK for a lot of my uh, Xbox uh, games, well all my Xbox games so far, uh, Video Game Imports, Lee that owns that uh, company, uh, spoke to him, explained to him what the situation was. Now of course on the Friday, um, it was actually released, it was out, it was available, they'd got their copies in, uh, they actually got their copies in on the Thursday, so they were sending stuff out to customers on the Thursday in the UK for people to get on the Friday. I found it on Friday, so yeah I've got a few copies left. But unfortunately, I missed the pre-order special offer because what they normally do is everything that comes through, if you pre-order it, you get it cheaper than what it is when it actually lands. And it can be by, you know, quite a few quid, you know, seven, eight quid sort of thing. So you get it cheaper if you pre-order. Now, obviously, I, I, I never pre-ordered because I thought I could get it covered under the downloadable content version. But, all, uh, but of course, all that backfired. So anyway... I uh, ordered it yesterday and it arrived this morning. So this is the full retail version of uh, Dodon Patchy Dice for Katsu, black label version with all the other extras uh, that are in it as well. So, let's see what we get. And suffice to say, um, it actually, in the end it actually cost me um, 54, 54 quid. If I didn't on pre order, I think it was 45. But it's one of those things you live and learn. That's a, and, and also to add to that, because Muchy Muchy Pork and Pink Sweets has been released on the Xbox 360 by Cave, at the end of this month, I just made sure I got the pre order in for that at the same time, so I'm not going for the same thing. Uh, to risk missing a pre-order and or getting stiffed on the, on the price, but such is life. In fact, what I'll do is I'll get the other box. I'll get the original box and I can show you the original uh, Daifu Katsu and then against obviously the new one. Right, so this is the original version. That's Dodon Patchy Die for Katsu version uh, 1.5, so that's the original retail version, uh, one that was released at the end of uh, last year. That's the box art for it. And this is the one that's just been released this week, which is Dodon Patchy Die for Katsu Black Label. As you can see, the box art is certainly different. Uh, you got some nice pictures on the back which actually shows you some of the different um, uh, arrange modes. You've actually got a picture there of the of the Ketsu Patchy or Ketsui Patchy or whatever they call it. So let's have a look to see what we get. Right, so that's the inside. Uh, disc and a manual.
Right, again for most of the cave releases, uh, the manual is is nice. It's actually a proper manual, not just a few sheets of paper. You got the uh, the characters. So some art of the characters. You've got a description of the uh, type of ships you can control. Standard fare really. And you've got some information about the various versions by the looks of it. Now let's just see if it's got about a Ketsui part. Yeah it has. Not a great load of detail as regards to showing screenshots of the various modes but obviously it all helps if you can read Japanese which I can't but you've got various bits in there about the different modes that's about black label oh no sorry that's a <laughs> Burke. that's about black label Obviously you're not going to be able to read this from the camera, but again that's a bit about the modes, red system, shot and laser, which I just showed you previously about the types of different weapon. And that's a very small bit here on the Ketsui or Ketsu Patchy mode, you can see at the bottom there that's the scoring icons that you get in Ketsui. There's supposed to be all different things as well to do with the music, you can do different music arrange modes and swap music between the black label and the other versions and all sorts of good stuff. Um, so yeah, it um, certainly looks a, not, um, sorry, a nice package. Yeah, so without further ado, I will uh, get this connected up to uh, one of my arcade cabinets in vertical mode. I'll get that all set up, get the all screen set up and everything. I will actually run this with my new scanline generator, uh, the SLG 3000. Um, I'll give you some close up shots of that before I start some real gameplay. Um, what I'll actually do this time, I won't actually uh, play the game. I won't play the game and then do a video. I'll actually uh, do the gameplay video um, as the first game play that I have of the game itself, personally. So I'll go through various options that I can see that are different. And we'll give it a bash and see what it looks like. Hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> 